Sometimes you can just tell that a cool concept is gonna quickly wear thin. That's certainly the case with Blue Collar Astronaut, the newest game from Idaho-based developer Mutated Software. While it has a funny name and compelling premise, I knew that the whole thing was gonna grow repetitive and tiresome right from the opening minutes. Sadly, my initial impression was never proven wrong. This is a game about the unsexy parts of space travel. Forget about exploring the universe to seek out new life and civilizations, because this has more in common with your local dock workers than Star Trek. Blue Collar Astronaut is all about earning money from hauling things around and making deliveries, always in a ship that's barely controllable even in the best of situations. It all starts out simple enough. You enroll in driving school to earn your license and get into a tremendous amount of debt. In order to pay this off, you'll need to start delivering pizzas to people around the world and galaxy. This will eventually send you into the big league, where you'll be in charge of littering the universe with advertisements and placing bombs on imposing asteroids. It's all about taking whatever job you can get in order to pay down your student loans and put food on your plate. On paper, Blue Collar Astronaut has a lot going for it. Beyond the admittedly fun concept, it offers more than 40 unique stages in a wide variety of missions. It also lets you replay those stages in a total of six different ways, such as time mode, fuel mode, health mode, and a challenge mode. These are the perfect additions to the bite-sized levels, and it gives fans of the game a lot to look forward to. The problem is that I could never warm up to the gameplay. The way your space truck handles is deliberately frustrating. You only have thrusters on the back, so braking or making sharp turns requires us to completely flip the vehicle around and slam on the gas. This can be especially difficult as we're flying through cramped areas or dealing with each planet's gravity. And it's even worse when you're stuck in the middle of space trying to avoid lasers and debris. Speaking of which, I have a real issue with the way the game handles deep space travel. The moment you get away from a planet, you'll see a larger version of your ship overlay the smaller one. I assume this is to help people keep track of their location, but I found that it only made it harder to hit the goals. For one thing, it's a little too big, making it even harder to see your smaller craft. It's also misleading, especially when you're delivering pizzas. The Pizza Slice logo on the top of your car isn't aiming straight up so I found that my eyes would get a little confused about what direction I was facing. This isn't a huge problem, but there were definitely levels where the large overlay would make everything a lot more frustrating than it needs to be. I get the feeling that this was a game intended to be played in small doses. In that sense, Blue Collar Astronaut probably makes the most sense on the PS Vita, where you can play a level or two and just call it a day. That's probably the way I should have ingested the game, but I chose to play through the whole thing in just a couple of sittings. This only exacerbated the inherent repetition, leaving me desperate for something other than a delivery job. I can see this finding a cult following that loves everything I hated about the game, but it really didn't take very long for the monotony to drive me up the wall. To its credit, there are things I genuinely like about the game. While the space travel isn't especially interesting, I do like the look of the various planets. The art is created by well-known cartoonist Maki Naro, and it's easily the best part of the game. I also really like Charlie Armour's catchy soundtrack. There's a lot of charm sprinkled throughout the game, which makes it even more depressing that I didn't connect with Blue Collar Astronaut. As a goofy premise, this one has a winning idea. Unfortunately, the funny conceit is marred by frustrating gameplay and repetitive levels. It's often a chore to play, and most of the failed attempts felt like they were completely out of my control. I can certainly see this finding an audience, but Blue Collar Astronaut left me wanting to find a high-paying office job. Hey, thanks for watching our review. Ever had one of those weeks where you have almost too many games to play? Well, that's what I'm going through right now. Not that I'm complaining. We're going to be spending some time talking about Switch or Die Trying, Sub-Level Zero Redux, Loot Rascals, and Little Triangle in the coming days. And that's barely scratching the surface of what I have on my plate. I'm going to do my best to keep my head above water, so I recommend you click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then...